dude. Yeah! <laughs> come on. You know, come the f on. Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV. I'm here with one of the most well-respected and one of the busiest shotgun instructors in the game, Mr. Matt Hutt. Matt's gonna show us some awesome techniques on the 12 gauge, everybody's new favorite platform. Today we are using the brand new A300 and we're also gonna be using a 1301. Yep. But I want you to tell everybody a little bit about yourself. So my name's Matt Hot. Uh, kind of grew up shooting shotguns and uh, you know, my, my dad was teaching shotguns for the last 35 years, teaching federal law enforcement, military, local LE, civilians and about nine years ago, I started teaching with him because I didn't want this stuff to fade away. I wanted to, you know, keep promoting it, keep the, the knowledge in circulation, and, you know, shotguns are fun, man. What are we learning today? We're going to learn push-pull recoil mitigation, which is kind of our signature technique. Uh, we're going to eliminate or at least mitigate the biggest drawback of the 12-gauge platform, which is its punishing recoil. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to cut that down by about half, and at the end of the day, you're not going to have a bruise on your shoulder. Talk to me about the 1301 and the A300 while we're here. You run a shitload of classes, mm -hmm. and you've seen the 1301 in quite a few of them. How has mm -hmm. it performed? It performs excellently. So over the last probably five years, we've seen more and more self-loaders come into classes, fewer and fewer pumps. And the two shotguns, the two self-loaders that we see survive a two-day class without parts breakage or just going down hard uh, tends to be the 1301 and the Benelli M4. Mm -hmm. uh, they have excellent reputations for reliability. They run great, and they're just they're, they're solid defensive shotguns. Have you seen the A300 come through yet? It's still new. We've had one come through a class. A guy switched off between that and a 1301. And then uh, I taught a one-day class recently, and a student had a gun go down, and I let him borrow this gun for the latter half of the class, and it ran great. I mean, it's a proven design, it's a proven system, uh, but, you know, time will tell. By the way, the most common user-induced malfunction we see with these guns is guys not getting their finger out of the way of the bolt as it closes. Well, we're all ready to learn, me and everyone out there, TFB TV land. So let's get on the line and let's get started, man. Let's get her done. Thank man. you for being here. Thank you for having me. We're going to do a little before and after. We've got full power federal buckshot that we're going to start out with. And I'm just going to do a mag dump. I have not had any instruction yet from Matt. And then we're going to do a little after with the same shotgun, same ammo at the end of the day. God, that was awful. All right, dude, ready? You rolling, Ryan? <laughs> Come on. You know, come on. I think I look pretty good, dude. Full house, full power, double lot. Holy shit. <laughs> Me. <laughs> that was awesome. Like I said before, one of the biggest issues with the 12 gauge shotgun is managing the recoil. Uh, with you know, full power duty loads, buck or slug. This thing puts out about the same muzzle energy as a 375 H&H &H Magnum. So when I'm teaching you to shoot this rapidly, I'm essentially teaching you to rapid fire an elephant gun. Most people, when they've grown up, they've learned how to shoot a 12 gauge. They're taught, tuck it in tight to the shoulder, pull back with both hands. Now that keeps, that keeps the stock from having any room to accelerate, which is good, but you're adding to the rearward recoil force with this hand. So what we teach is a thing called push-pull. You are setting up momentarily an isometric tension in your muscles so that the recoil has to soak through your support hand before it gets to your shoulder. The way we do this is you bring the gun up with just enough to get it into your shoulder pocket. You're not really compressing that tissue, you're just getting it there. And then just before you fire, your support hand is going to push forward. Um, Dad calls it like trying to pull a gun apart uh, I've also heard, you know, like drawing a bow. I was just thinking that. Yep. Yeah. If, if you're, especially if you do a lot of archery, you push out with your bow hand. And it's the same thing here. It's about a 70, 30, 60, 40, somewhere in that. We'll dial it in as we go. Everybody's a little different. So the first thing I'm going to do is a demo just with me showing bad and good technique of push pull. This is what traditional technique is. We have a bladed stance. We have 
you know, the hand out here, we're pulling in tight with both hands. Man, I hate doing this. <laughs> and it looks something like this. Now you can see, sight's way off target. I gotta bring it back down. I gotta see, hell, did I hit anything? And then, if I got a pump gun, I gotta cycle the action. With push-pull, we do something a little different. We square up to the target, a good solid fighting stance, the same as your pistol shooting, same as your carbine shooting, same as your boxing or jiu-jitsu. We brace up, good solid stance, aggressive stance, knees a little flexed, chin forward to the knees, weight slightly on the balls of the feet. Once we get really dialed into push-pull, stance will not matter as much. So we get our good stance, we get the gun up, we get a good forward tension just before you break the shot. You can't stay like that all the time or you'll, you'll tense yourself out, wear yourself out. But just before you break the shot, dot never left the target. Once you mitigate that recoil, you can shoot it fast. You can do doubles. No big deal. You know, try doing that with a 12 gauge shotgun and getting hits. Once you step up onto the line here, what I want you to do is kind of square your feet up a little bit. Bring that, not, not quite so square, right about there, yeah. We like them about shoulder width apart. Now get a little flex in your knees, get a good aggressive stance. I mean, you're, you're fighting this thing. <laughs> you know, the shotgun's an inherently abusive relationship. If you're not the dom, you're gonna be the sub. I understand that. Yeah. That's a term that I understand. And the gauge doesn't understand safe words. I'm gonna top this shotgun from the bottom. Exactly. On the command of up, I want you to bring the weapon up. I want you to get a good sight picture. I want you to just get that just into your shoulder enough to hold it there. And just before you press trigger, I want you to extend your support hand, pull that gun apart, and break me one shot. Okay. I yeah. didn't. I didn't. You didn't. I know. Exert your tension. I'm doing it. Press. More tension. Another thing you might want to do, pull this hand back. Okay. The more bend you have in your elbow, the more power you have to push. Got it. If you're all the way out in that like Costa C grip, you've got no push power. Got it. Set up your tension, press the shot. Much better. It feel better? Yes. Okay, now give me a little more tension. That was about three quarters of what you want. Okay. Okay, ready? Set up your tension, press. A little better. Yeah. Give me another one. On me? On you. Yep. Yes, yep. that looked good. You see how little that yep. moved? Yep. I mean, it just, boop. Yep. All right, load five more. Up. Excellent. One more time. Ready? Up. All right. You know, and, and as we go through the day, you'll dial it in a little better. It's, it's, just, it's taking far more forward tension than I, I thought it might. Most people don't, most people assume it takes less than it does. Yeah. And that's why we say don't hold it out there rah, the whole time or you'll just wear yourself out. Yeah. Ready? Up. Oh, that was beautiful. That one felt. That, that was, was beautiful. That was the best feeling one. Yes. So that one, I mean, the gun just kind of went boop. Yeah. Ready? Up. Ah, uh, not as good. Yep. Well, that's okay. That's why we do this. The shotgun in and of itself is a good instructor. If you forget push-pull, it will remind yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that there one looked is. good. You're picking this up fast. So you're already internalizing it, which is good. All right, so man can do one, ought to be able to do what? Two. Exactly, load six. On the command of up. Ready, up. Nice, and recover. Up. Cool. Damn. Hell yeah, son. Ah, there, there we is. go. There it is. Load two. Stop! Oh, that was beautiful. Dude, that was beautiful. It felt great. And you can feel it. Yep. I love that. This, this is the moment I love <laughs> when, when the student has that light bulb go off and it's like, oh. We, we haven't even done that many reps, but it's getting easier. Yeah. Every rep. Every, it's getting noticeably easier. Yep. So every now and then I'll, I'll forget. I'll go back to what I've been doing for three plus decades. Exactly. Especially, but it, it, it's not really that hard. Especially if you've got a lot of, of groove in with the, with the older ways, it absolutely does take a little while to reprogram it. But that's why we get all these reps, all these laps in the pool.
A man can do two, ought to be able to do three. So load me up six. All right. On the command of up, fire two rounds on the left target, one round on the right. We're not going for, for flash. We want consistent individual shots. Work that push pull. Got it. Ready? Up. Nice. That was it. That was, that was that money. So good. You're, you're fighting. You are dominating that gun instead of the opposite. So let's do it Topping again. from the bottom. Exactly. <laughs> up. Yeah. Ah. Up. So that first shot was probably the best push pull you've done all day. Yeah. That, that felt great. Una mas. Load four. Oh, yeah. dude, that was a nice double. Yeah, yeah. That first one was a little... Dude. <laughs> Matt, I'm from New Orleans, so I'm used to voodoo. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I thought this was going to be, right? <laughs> Whenever we, we uh, first, when I first heard about it, and everybody's like, you got to meet this guy, Matt Hot. He knows this push pull technique. It's going to make you a better shotgun shooter. Um, now, again, because of your reputation, your success, I figured this was going to be something that was legit, but I thought it was going to be, I come out here, screw around, do a couple parlor tricks, I go home and go back to what I used to do. That is not the case at all. I mean, we have seen the, the difference in performance today in a short, I mean, in one hour, you had me shooting faster, cleaner, and more accurately, less recoil. I'm extremely impressed. I don't know what to say awesome. uh, other than thank you. Well, you know, go forth, spread the gospel of the gauge, man. Yeah, thank you so much again for coming out here. Hey, thanks for meeting coming us out. on a nice, cool, refreshing day. Oh, this is a beautiful spring day in Arizona. We are at 107 degrees out here at 10 o'clock in the morning in Arizona. But you know what's really hot? You guys, TFB TV viewers. I love you. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more shotgun content. You know it.